Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ronald Akibir. So today I'll be giving you another tutorial, and it's called the trending dripping effects for Facebook profile pictures. Here we go. Okay, so first thing that you're going to do is you have to download the PixArt application. So since I've done already downloading my PixArt application, let's open now the app. Okay, so this is the first thing that you're going to see, the home page of the application. So you have to click the center button below violet color and then the first thing that you're going to consider is that you have to choose the background so for me i've downloaded already ahead the background and it's color white and this is the background that i chose now after the background you are now going to choose for the sticker because you're going to use um the smoke effect so let me type smoke effects because i'll be using the smoke effects to be one of my design okay so let me see i have okay i'll be choosing this one downloading If you have noticed the crown icon that I've used, it's because I've purchased the application. Okay, now that you have here already the smoke effect, the next thing you're going to do now is you are going to add the picture. So this is not the picture that you are going to use. So for mine, I'll be choosing this one. Okay, this one so after choosing that one choose add okay there you go so next thing you're going to do is that you have to choose the effects so choose the effects here below okay so the first thing that you're going to choose is the undead so adjust the undead from paid the zero we increase the volume of the f and then there you go apply and then again effects go to band lads okay choose again the band lads for you to have the option to adjust the color okay this one i got so i'm already okay with this so i'll choose apply Okay, now this time, I'll be choosing only the picture alone. So what you're going to do, choose cut out. Okay, here we go. And then choose this um, icon, like a person icon. This one. Okay, here we go. Now... So you have to be very careful if you want to make your picture clean. Okay, there you go. Okay, I think this is already okay. So since I'm done choosing this one, because I'll be also I'll be only using the upper portion of my picture. So I'll choose save. Okay, there you have it. Now this time I am going to crop the picture. No no no, not crop yet. Okay, I'll just make it bigger.
Okay, arrange. There you have it. Now, this time, we are going to choose the dripping effect. Since I already downloaded the dripping effect. Okay, I'll choose this one. So I'll just make a little bit bigger. Let's crop first. So I think I need more dripping effect. So I have to duplicate this one. As you can see, the two layered icon up. So I just click on this, then choose duplicate. Okay, I think this is already enough. Let me crop. Okay. I'll just I am just aligning this picture with the other picture. I think this is already enough. I need more dripping effect. There you go. Okay, good to go. So, from this one, let's go to blend and then normal. As you can see, you have normal, multiply, color, darken, and lighten. I want you to choose the lighten. this one let's blend again for this one mm, lighten there you go and let's move this one okay there you go now as you can see this is the This time we are going to add more effects. Apply. So sticker, I am going to use the neon triangle effect. Oh, let me choose this one, blue color. So I'll just make bigger. What we're going to do with this triangle effect is that we have to erase the triangle that touches on the body part so that it will look like that this triangle is inserted behind my picture. Okay, then quick check after 
reason then click apply then this time we have to choose another neon circle effect we will go for the neon circle effect now this is the neon circle effect that we are going to choose okay this one is the neon circle effect Let's check this one. Okay, so again, like what we did in the triangle, so we have to erase the circle in my face and the circle on the lower chin on my shoulder and there you go quick check okay wait uh, did I adjust it okay then good to go apply there you go so this is now my output for the dripping effect picture now what we're going to do now if you're satisfied already then you have to click now the next so good to go let's go for save and download the photo click done save the profile and there you go you are done with your dripping effect thank you and i hope you learned something